Magic Pain Glove. Did Tyro send me here by myself in order to punish me for getting better duties than him? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Fair enough, but I thought I would check. <laughs> oh, welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator Burning Dog Fans. Last time, I took a big chunk out of the mess on this section of the ship, but I kept getting led astray by the fact that there's just so much ship to clean. Yeesh. Shout out to Yornik, who says, Slanesh, the goddess of debauchery, and I like putting deaths in uh, brackets. It's just one more example of the Imperial propaganda. Slanesh is actually the goddess of fun! Yes, orgies and week-long drug trips are a part of it, but so are lovely trivia nights in your favorite pub, or drinking hot chocolate and reading first editions in some cozy, relaxed library. Fun takes many forms, and so does chaos. Oh no. be wrong about this. I'm trying to remember. I believe in order to make the Tau, like, copyrightable, you know, since the original name of the species, Tau is just a Greek letter. Uh, was it Greek? or was that? I don't remember. The point is, it's a letter. It's not something you can copyright. It would be like, well, let's not go there with a ten-foot pole. Um... I think all they did was add an apostrophe, like, as if it was, like, Tao. Pretty sure it's still just pronounced Tao, though. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember what they call the regular Eldar. But I'm pretty sure they now refer to the Dark Eldar just as Drukari, which I think is the Eldar's word for them, which is weird. have to say offhand that from what I've seen, if any one faction is more grimdark than Chaos, it's the Dark Eldar. Living in a city full of nightmares. Actually, this one. Torturing and forcing gladiator games just for fun. Gotcha! Oh, what's this? Oh, aileron, it's a separate piece. So let's get this straight. The Eldar got so freaky for so long spontaneously generated a goddess of, you know, pleasure and debauchery, essentially. And while, uh, some of the survivors went, you know what, we must be vigilant to make sure this never happens again, and became, like, aesthetic killjoys, a fair number of them doubled down? No, 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 we're just, you know, it's like, no, 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 no. Our race is screwed at this point, so let's just keep having fun until we're no longer alive. That is sort of the Dark Eldar philosophy. Boop. Oh. That's not it. No. 
no, it is not really possible for me to back up. Wait, if I step on the gun... ...and then stand up... What am I missing here? What? How can that be the side spawns in? It's filthy. Ha! Ah! Take that, you fucker. Okay, what next? Uh Jesus. Oh god. vaguely down to up, wasn't I? So I guess I'll work on this spot right here with this thing to side vent armor. Kind of getting that feeling I got the first time I went to the, uh, the playground level. Just There is so much, I'm having trouble sticking to a task or even knowing what to do. No, I can do this. And quite frankly, I'd rather be doing this than be the guys who were there when it got all messy. Ooh, that's a good spot for it. Get this vent right here. sides of those engines. Hmm. Kind of amazed that's not the case, that, uh, there's crap at this angle. Maybe over here. Huh! Small miracles. Oops. There's nothing right there. Doing surprisingly well at covering these uh, squarey bits.
Ha! Side vent armor. Side vent already done. Yeah, it's good. Alright, then also... Oh, that's how it's aligned. If this is soothing for the machine spirit, or if it doesn't give a shit. This is a great spot for that. I mean, I know there's going to be a ton shitload of angles in there I need to get to, like probably above me, so I can see the tops of those things. Man. slowly the uh, side armor thing goes down. can't believe that worked in this distance. This isn't even the longest one. Side armor belt. Shit, I was looking at the wrong spot entirely. Might as well get this belt since I made a big chunk out of it. I'm standing in the trench. Right. Um... Nice thing about windows, they are flat planes.
also like the sheer variety of games they've made out of uh, Warhammer over the years. Yeah, there's been RPGs and shooters of all kinds. This main wing engine that's really big. Okay, fine. We're gonna take out these missiles. Take out these missiles. Uh, clean off these missiles before we uh, get up to this. They have a uh, you know, 40k Space Marine, which is a third-person like shooter slash melee game. I think the way the only way you can regain health in that game is uh, chain sword executions, which they instituted specifically to make the player play like a Space Marine, i.e., always on the offensive. I actually remember seeing a clip somewhere of uh, one of the developers of that game saying, uh, you know, we were working on a Gears of War style cover system. And it was actually, you know, getting implemented pretty well until we suddenly realized, wait, these are space marines. They would never take cover. You know, maybe inside of a building or something, but they wouldn't be hiding behind pillars and stuff. They'd just be strolling into battle and laying waste to everything. right in front of the fucking missile. They did, uh, well, technically it's Necromunda, not 40k, but same universe, so there was that one I mentioned way earlier, Necromunda uh, Hired Gun, which is, as I understand it, uh, Doom 2016, but 40k. You know, so high speed, uh, always be killing, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah! Yeah, they put one out, I think, just last year called uh, Warhammer 40,000 Bolt Gun, which is, uh, well, if Hired Gun was Doom 2016, Bolt Gun is Doom 1991, or what was it, 93? I don't remember. 
Point is, it's the original Doom. Like, it's, uh... <laughs> it's a retro throwback, uh, boomer shooter, I think they're called these days. Right down, right up to and including the fact that your guns, your hands, you know, and all of the enemies are 2D sprites that are intentionally low res, so they're kind of pixely. Might. I have that one, I have that one. games. I even once saw uh, a game you could get on Steam that was just straight up chess just with a uh, Warhammer theme to it. They called it Regicide. Got you, you little bastard. Okay, sorry about that. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time when we get to work on this wing. And I suppose all the other niblets underneath it. And, uh... Also this engine here. Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. This is a big job. Until then, have a great day. Serve the Emperor in all things. And be good to your friends. Later.